Hi there, this is Darren from Treasure Life Family Farms, and today we're going to do a little BCS work. Uh, part of that, we're going to change the power harrow off and put the flail shredder on it. And uh, another thing I wanted to demo on this, this is an 853. I think I've mentioned it in other videos before. We don't have the cover, the nice pretty blue cover on it because it kind of messes with the cables and then things don't always work quite right. With it off, I have a lot better time. And also, the uh, actual clutch mechanism is right down here. And... Every so often I gotta reach in there with a pair of pliers and or a pair of uh kind of water pipe pliers and kind of pull on that for whatever reason. So I gotta take the battery box off, take the battery out, and then do that, and then put it all back together. Well I just left it off one time and realized that <clears throat> this thing starts easy enough uh without the electric start. And so this hasn't started in about three weeks. I left the key in the on position, which is fine when there's no battery. Move the uh, choke over, grab it. I'm gonna reposition myself here. And it starts just that easy, uh, pretty much every time. So what we're gonna do now is uh, use the uh, Quick coupler disconnect. That'll allow this to come off. We're gonna go find a place to take it off and then we'll uh, unhook it. Alright, here's a uh, buckwheat in our little hoop house here, and uh, I'm guessing we're two and a half feet tall or so. Here's what the roots look like. So they're not, not a big deep taproot breaking up ground or anything like that, but they're uh, it's a good mulch uh, cover crop. so. We're about to flail shred it, then we're going to cover it with a black plastic tarp to let the uh, nutrients uh, go ahead and uh, get absorbed into the 
into the soil. These stems on this buckwheat are hollow. I don't know if the camera there is kind of focusing. So we're gonna mow this down with the flail shredder. And we've got our boots on because this is gonna largely turn to a kind of a watery, soupy, slushy mess. So let's uh, have a look at how this Berta flail shredder on the front of the 853 BCS will uh, take down a pretty tall buckwheat crop. All right, and just like that, I suppose it was five, six minutes, ten maybe, uh, that thing can make its way through some cover crop pretty good. It starts to kind of roll up and ball up on the tires. I almost wonder if we should uh, maybe run the sprinkler for a little bit before we mow this, before we, you know, flush red this, uh, because the ground is powdery dry. And then it makes a powder on top of wet kind of dust. Anyways, the uh, foil shredder does a good job. We'll come over with the plastic. This sheet is uh, the right size for this whole house. So we'll get the crew over here and spread it out there and put some sandbags on it. Meanwhile, I parked our shredder over here so that I could grab the hose off of the uh, pig water supply here. Maybe I can wash this down a little bit. See how it's kind of balled up on the tires? I think if I had not had powdery ground beneath the buckwheat that it would have done a little better. So let's see what we got underneath here first before we actually wash it. And I don't know, I can't, I can't hold you and wash that at the same time. I'm missing, uh, my, my crew is not here and it's getting dark. So I'm going to put you down and give a little wash into there and then uh, we'll be back. All right, sun's going down. We're flail shredded, spread the tarp over it and uh, put up enough sandbags to kind of keep it down when the wind comes up. And from here, I don't know what makes it go away. The fact that it's rotting, that's one thing. Then the worms come and get it. Yep. All the microbial life. The microbial life and the worms come and get all that green stuff. And, uh, you know, we're building the soil here. So uh, I don't know if I can remember to get a video of this. Like I say, in three weeks, this will look like bare dirt with worm trails under it kind of cool how it works and uh, that should be it for our video thanks for watching